Good evening guys, my name's Longshanks and I thought I'd just do a quick video about a game oh, why do you have to f Good evening guys, my name's Longshanks and welcome to another video. This video is going to be about a game called Fort Honor, which I am absolutely buzzing about and I cannot wait for. Um, it's going to show a little trailer, which you've probably already all seen, but I'm going to show it to the people just in case I don't know it. And then once the trailer's over, we'll be going over the Knights and what the different factions are. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. The world fears us. We are the favored of the gods. We plunder new lands. We raid and we grow strong. We live for battle, ready to die in glory. Cast away from our land, we are rebuilding. Our hearts are strong. Our devotion absolute, and our skill is beyond question. We will be remembered. We are the guardians of our people. We stand strong against all invaders. Duty is our shield, order our weapon. When we defend the weak, we are immortal. Relax, my How good does that game look? And it's going to be multiplayer as well. It's not just a normal role playing game. I cannot wait. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go over the different factions. You've got the samurai with their oriental look about them. You've got the knights that have that sort of swagger about them. And then you've got the vikings that I really do like the look of. With the samurai, you get the Kenzi, the Shigoki, the Orochi, and the the Naboshi. Sorry, sorry if I, sorry if I pronounce these wrong. They're so hard to pronounce the uh, samurai warriors. Now the knights, they have the wardens, the conquerors, and the peacekeepers. And the ones that come in later on in the game are called the lawbringers. Now the Vikings have four different variants as well. They've got the raiders, they've got the warlords, they've got the berserkers, and like the others that won't be coming on until later on in the game, you've got the Valkyries. Now all these different warriors had their own sort of backstory and their own special moves but instead of me going onto the website reading through each one of them out to you all what I'm going to do is just play the video clips for each warrior and just keep them rolling so we're going to start off with the samurai leading into the knights then into the vikings and I'll speak to you in a minute. Every army needs warriors whose specialty is victory. Kensei, sword saints, the guardians of our people. Every great ruler since the fall has trained as a sword saint. Every one. And they are formidable. The Nodachi was long thought to be too large for use in real war. They proved them wrong. Their armor is the strongest of our people. As is their will. We are far from home, we samurai. Each new land teaches us new things. Each new ally makes us stronger. The Shugoki. Once our guardians, they have become as family. And what more fierce protectors could we ask for? 
the Kanabo is an unreasonable weapon. Clumsy. Dangerous. Unless you possess the strength of a demon. And an unbreakable will. We samurai are outnumbered. Each of our warriors must be the match of ten of our enemies. Each Orochi is a match for a hundred. Swift. Strong. The truest masters of the katana. They move like shadows. With lore taken from the ninja clans. Their armor, a perfect balance of flexibility and strength. Orochi, they are the finest warriors the world has ever known. The Wardens. Members of an ancient order. Fallen into dust. Sworn to defend the weak. Masters of the Longsword. Their origins lost to history. Still, they fight for what is right. Driven by duty. Devoted to their people. join their order. In desperate times, conscripted criminals refill our ranks. Sometimes, however, you find a diamond in the rough. The most elite earn their name. Conquerors. Strong as a battering ram. Resilient as a fortress gate. Their flail is as dangerous to the wielder as it is to the enemy. But in the right hands, it becomes... unstoppable. When wars end, it is the silent blade that keeps the peace. But when wars rage, a peacekeeper's work is never done. Quick. Lethal. They can win a fight before their enemy even knows they are there. Dancers of death with dual blades for dancing partners. Selected from the desperate, the humbled, or the devoted. Sworn to secrecy by unbreakable oaths. What they know can destroy legends or create them. Sometimes a Viking is born who carries the spark of gods. Raiders, we call them. It is a name that can summon armies. Ruthless, fearless, made for battle. The Dane Axe was the mightiest weapon of our ancestors. They wield it without mercy. of a Viking's death is chosen by fate. So what use have they of armor? Or of fear? There are 
traditions among our people that run deep as stone. Their shields are as versatile as they are strong. Their swords are as lethal, simple, and ancient design. And a leader who does not lead the charge is no leader at all. They are called Warlords, a name that has earned another ancient tradition. To become a Warlord means service to all who need it for life. They are the shield of our people. And they will not fall. The vast forests of our lands are said to be filled with the spirits of beasts. Sometimes those beasts join us on the battlefield. Berserkers. Wild, free, and utterly without fear. They fight with twin axes, but their true weapon is their passion. There is an ancient riddle. What is stronger than steel? Blood, our answer. Blood and fury. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I had not got a clue what faction I'm going to go with. I was thinking Vikings, but after watching all of that, I don't even know. I might just close my eyes and pick at random. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't show all the uh, Warriors because, like I said earlier, some of them are due to come out. And they're probably going to be out when the game gets released or might be in download content. I'm not too sure. But please leave in the comments below which faction you're liking, what Warriors you're liking, what you're like, sort of going towards. And if you're on Facebook, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for a group that you could join so you can maybe chat to others and everything like that. So be good if you can come and join us on there. And please, if you can, give us a big thumbs up on this video. Um, all the content which is in this video, I did get off the website, so I'm just putting that in because of copyright reasons and it will be in the description. I hope they don't get me up with this, but it's just advertising for them. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and please give us a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys, bye.